You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have one of my favorite people here. I have Mary Waldron. Hi, Mary. Hi, nice Mark. to see you. Great to see you. You're always involved in good things, wow. okay? And you're always involved in things that um, deeply impact people and, you know, just show the community spirit that Brockton always is. Wow. Okay? And one of these things that are exciting that's coming up is a uh, it's a survivor's luncheon. That's what it's labeled as. Yes. You're a survivor yourself. I am. Of cancer. I am. Okay, and we know others. Everybody is touched by survivors. Hopefully yeah. they are survivors and they haven't Correct. passed on. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes in the end it's meant to be and people aren't suffering. Correct. But when you're young, we watch you around for a while. I, I think that's a, being a survivor myself, but... Um, we are, as you said, we're all impacted by um, cancer and um, different elements and different aspects of cancer. And, um, you know, when, when you talked about things, getting involved, um, this community, you know, it, it had embraced me, um, not being a lifetime, lifelong Brocktonian. Um, this community embraced me for when I went through mine. And... Um, one of the things that I thought was important is to tell the story that with positive and with support and being detected early, um, it can be, um, you can be a survivor. And for those who battle, though, we have to recognize them for being the warriors that they are. Mm -hmm. um, and one of those warriors are, is in fact Fabiano um, Huckalite. And uh, she had touched my life, oh gosh, years ago when I first met her. And um, seeing when she had battled and battled again and battling again, mm -hmm. and to have her be the one to propose this idea, um, you couldn't help. You can't say no to Fabiel. No, <laughs> never. No. She's all, and, and she's very positive. Absolutely. Like, like you were through the whole thing, positive and upbeat. It has a whole heck of a lot to do with attitude. It does. I haven't experienced it myself personally for me, mm -hmm. but I went through it with my dad. Right. I've gone through it with good friends, yes. some of whom are survivors and some of whom I right. lost. Um, yeah. we're, we're sitting there getting ready for our 40th reunion, and we're saying, uh, yeah, I'm telling everybody, 40's big. No, 50's big. I'll wait till 50. I said, don't, don't wait, wait till 50. You That's never know thing. what happens tomorrow. Right. And, and you want to see you want to see your friends. I mean. I, I went to Brockton High, 79 was the year I graduated, I don't hide it, and I'm still in touch with friends. They might yeah. even be across the sea. Right. You, you know the Donna room is, and mm -hmm. you know, Terry, she's one of my best friends. She's in London. I'm right. still in touch with her. She comes over here. Can't get my wife on a plane to go visit her, but I'm going to get on the plane and visit her. But she's had health issues. Every right. one of us have had health issues. I'm Correct. looking at the list of speakers. I know Nadja Gay who uh, is very involved in the churches here in Brockton. Right. She's one of the speakers. Uh, Anita Riley, I'm gonna meet. Dr. Yi Luau, I guess. Mm -hmm. I know I know Karen Penn. I Correct. can't remember where from. Right. Okay, and then we're gonna have spoken word, Bernard Dean De Desange. You're saying that very close. You're probably De saying it better close? than I am. Okay. And, and I think what Fabiallo's envisioned is that um, first, right? That women of color, women of African descent um, have a higher risk in terms of not being, um, not being um, um, notifying and more conscious about it. So raising that consciousness, not just only to the greater Brockton community, but also specifically as it relates to the African American women community and, right. and those. And, you know, Steve Bernard just recently did um, a whole education series on prostate cancer, right? So we in Brockton, knowing our demographics, we have to be supportive of our community to notifying them and being um, being just, again, awareness, whether it's the um, Neighborhood Health Center, whether it's Signature Healthcare, whether it's Good Samaritan, we as a community need to embrace. And so that is one of the reasons why what Fabiallo had told me is being the keynote speaker. And, um, you know, life does throw you lots of curveballs, and it is how you approach those curveballs. And as we noted that the Red Sox with Jackie Bradley Jr. and, and Pierce and how they handle those curveballs, mm -hmm. um, you have to. And you pick up yourself and you hit those curveballs and you take the next day, you take the next game, and you got to keep going. And 
when you've been on this side of, um, of having cancer, um, and they did catch it early enough for me with stage two going to three, um, it's not stage four, and it was not metastasized, but you got to take it on and um, and and treat it in the way of the most positive and and sometimes you have to be that voice for those that don't have that voice. Mm -hmm. And I think in this case, I think that's what Fabiolo's intention has been is in fact to be the voice to celebrate to celebrate both the warriors and those that are surviving and um, and those supporting them too. And those supporting okay, them. Okay, because the support is is key. It as really well. is. Okay, uh, there are people that are the invisible angels out there that take people for rides when they don't have That's rides. That's correct. And go to the benefit and buy the ticket. This is That's a very correct. inexpensive one. It it's is. twenty dollars to sweet. go. So it's on. Um, I'm sorry, October twenty eighth. Yeah. Um, at Thorny Lee. Which is a nice venue. They it have good nice food. Venue. We go there for Rotary. Right. Okay. And I like how it's listed. A celebration of being alive, grateful, and surviving. Isn't that amazing? And that this is all again Fabiolo. She had this idea about a year ago and her health um, took a little bit of a curve and she did not give up on the idea of that she wanted to do this and to celebrate those. Um, I, she has I I there's a couple of things. So it is supported by a national organization called Grown, Grown Men, Re, Grown Women, Real Talk, right. and the um, the organization supports um, women and and efforts like this. So for those to get tickets, um, and I will make sure that it, uh, but it's www.gwrt for Grown Women Real Talk okay. Survivor. Eventbrite. Com, okay. um, and it is posted on Facebook. It's posted on my page. It's also posted on Fabiolo's page. Um, and we're going to give you this video so you can link it. Awesome. To we'll make sure we okay. do that. But I wanted to share one thing that Fabiolo had shared in, in her description about this event. And, it, and she has it that action without vision is only passing time. Right? Action without vision is only passing time. Mm -hmm. Vision without action is merely a day dreaming. It's only, it's only daydreaming. But vision with action can change the world. I love it. I do love that because you can, again, it's one thing to be a bystander. It's one thing to say, that's great. But right, I know that people always say that I'm busy, but you always make time because if we all figure out we're all busy, but if you don't take that time, that vision with action can change the world. So these survivors and these stories, you know, that's the intent. Let's let's make this a better world and let's be supportive of those families and friends, people who are going through it. Well, we're coming and we're going to show it, but it's more important to be there. It's more that's important correct. to buy the ticket. That's correct. To support, I don't know what the capacity is over there. A couple of hundred. A couple of hundred. Yep. And you can squeeze people on the yes. side. We've yep. been to enough events. For There's $20? city events and stuff like that. Yeah. For $20 for right. a good breakfast, you, can, you can't go out for that. That's right. And you can okay. come you can come and wait and hear what I'm gonna to have to say as a keynote speaker. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And we're glad to help and support it. Um, you support everybody else and it's a team. It's, it's a team. team. Team Brockton, right? Team Brockton. Okay. Mary, Hashtag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Always a pleasure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champion.